I have to say, not bad while holding a baby on my chest. Poor baby. Why do I keep getting sick? Well, we have a problem. Pooja just came down with a fever. And it's not just any regular fever. This is like a 105 degree plus fever. So I'm pretty much gonna be soloing this parent thing. No, but actually, apparently, even as mothers get sick, as their bodies are producing antibodies to fight the sickness, those antibodies make their way into the breast milk. So it's actually advised to continue to feed share despite the fact that Pooja has a 105 degree fever. I did not know that. It sounds crazy, but it's true. So right now, Pooja's on bed rest. I'm taking care of Cher until the next feeding time. Hopefully this doesn't last long, but wish me luck. Hi, cutie pie. Are you ready to go to sleep? My babu. Oh, Cher babu. Okay, time to go to sleep, okay? Okay. Good boy. <laughs> So this has to be one of our biggest parent hacks because when Cher is sleeping on the camera, I don't want to be just holding my phone the whole time and making sure he stays asleep. So this is what we do. We literally cast it to the TV. So as I'm doing whatever, we just watch him nonstop. So mama's sleeping, Cher is sleeping, and now it's time for Papa to make dinner. Let's do a chicken fried rice. So I'm definitely one of those people who needs to Google a recipe for every single time I cook because I never remember what I did last time. Let's hit it. Veggie, green onion, egg, rice. This is the most nerve wracking thing. Is as I'm cooking, I see the movement. Will he stay asleep? He's like actively sucking that pacifier. Thing is if the pacifier comes out at this point, he'll get upset. I'm hoping he can just close his eyes again, but you look pretty awake. <sighs> so typically in this case, I would keep cooking and Pooja would put him back to sleep, but uh, he's crying. So I'll be back. He's back. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put him in the ergo carrier and just wear him because he typically just falls asleep right in that. And then he won't eat again for another like hour and 50 minutes. So hopefully I can wear him, cook, and then we'll go back to Pooja and have her feed him. Wish me luck. He gets a little bit fussy in the beginning, but then he chills out and like gets in the deepest, deepest sleep. So you can go ahead and sleep now, buddy. Success. Okay, this is much better because if I tried putting him back to sleep, probably would have gone to sleep, but it would have taken me another like 25, potentially 30 minutes. And this is just easy because now he's chilling, he's relaxed now. Let's go back to cooking. So sleepy, I don't know what it is. They love the pressure on their parents' chest. I have this fear that if I stop making noises or sounds, he's just gonna freak out. I just can't afford it. So I will be owing the whole time. So we went back to sleep. I covered the rice, cut up the chicken. Time to cook the chicken, cook the veggies, and put everything together. Babies, I tell ya. Peas, carrots, corn, green beans. Chicken's all cooked up, rice is all cooked up. And then let's make little scrambled eggs in the middle. And now we mix everything together. So that's the mixture. That's where the rice is gonna go into. Then we're gonna add a bunch of soy sauce and hot sauce and all that good stuff. I have to say, not bad while holding a baby on my chest. I'm not gonna lie, it looks pretty good. And now the moment of truth. 
I don't want this to fall on his head. Okay, wow. That's pretty freaking good. So it's almost seven o'clock, which is time for Cher to eat. So now let's check on Pooja to see how she's doing. Yeah, he's been sleeping in my chest. I feel like you were humming for so long. I felt so bad. Yeah, I was humming for a while. Are you okay, Rizzo? I feel so bad. It's okay. I'm good. I'm sorry. It's okay. I like physically like it's so icky. I know. I mean like a badass chicken fried rice. How did you make that with him there? Honestly, I don't know. I think it's Aren't just like... Aren't you so tired right now? Are you, like, no. Is this adrenaline kicking in? I think because I see you're down, then I just get adrenaline pumped up like... Time to provide. All right, come on, let's go down so you can eat and okay. feed and I'll go get some drink. Okay. All right, so Pooja's gonna eat. We're still gonna hold Cher right here because he's sleeping so peacefully. And then once she finishes eating, I'm gonna quickly go to the grocery store and get some fluids and anything that'll give Pooja some energy, hydration. So that's the game plan. And then once I come back, probably put Cher to sleep, eat my food and yeah, and get some rest because I think it'll be a long night for rest. Wish me luck. <sighs> Poor baby. Why do I keep getting sick? Here. Thank you so much. I mean, these like like restaurant fried rice. Oh my goodness gracious! Good job. Thank Thanks, you. Baby. Back onto bed rest you go. Bed ridden. Here's <sighs> hungry. Isn't that funny? Only he can save sure. the nest is. Yeah. You have to save mama and drink all the milk she has. I love you. Ladies and gentlemen, let's just say I have the most healing chicken fried rice on the planet. I swear, after the fried rice, I, I like was instead of getting in bed and I was like, I feel good. <laughs> it's so weird. I'm so glad. Now look, you're making a peanut butter jelly sandwich. I am. And I... There's a bread in there, because I don't like when it's super crispy bread. You put bread in the fried rice? I don't know where else to put it. I just toasted it, and I didn't like how toasty it was, so I was like, Reza will eat it. I, I will eat it, you're right. Yeah, I like soft bread for peanut butter jelly sandwiches. And I just like, it's so weird, like, what, what happened. Like, I literally feel like dying earlier today, and now I'm like, okay, I'm fine. I'm we fine, but, like, I still hurt. Still not great, but I'm not, I don't have a fever. Oh, well, maybe I do, but I don't feel like it. All right, finally got out of pajamas. Now it's time to go get groceries and fluids for Pooja. Let's go. Lineup is in the building. We're a little sick. Pooja. So Pooja's fever looks to be better, but we'll see kind of what happens tonight. I think, you know, we're both working so hard, not just at being parents, but trying to like work so hard to come back to where we were as individuals with our routines with like how we were doing with work, our own self-betterment, self-fulfillment stuff. As a new parent, you wanna get back there so bad, but you also have to give yourself so much grace, understanding that so much of your time is being taken away by being a new parent. And for us, like literally our number one priority and what makes us the most happy is being able to see Cher getting his sleep, Cher smiling, just Cher very seamlessly going through these days. And then like that fills up our bucket, but then like the individual side of ourself of like working out, giving yourself me time, being productive, it's hard to see those things not get done especially before you became parents that was like the only thing so we're trying to find that balance and i think like in times like these when like we're really struggling to find that balance i think just really leaning on each other seems to be like the biggest thing that we always come back to it's not going to be perfect we're not going to get done as much as we used to get done and it's okay because the number one thing that matters is um that we're all healthy that we're together and we're all doing the best that we can every single day now it's it's 1046, Pooja went up to sleep. Um, I'm gonna clean up the kitchen and then we're gonna go to bed and see how long Cher's sleeping. I think so far he's slept for an hour and a half. So it feels like this is gonna be the one where he goes for over four hours. Um, so I'm gonna try to get this done in like 30 minutes and get up there, get a few hours of sleep and then be begin the nighttime with Cher. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Three in the morning, 
Time to put him back to sleep. How many hours did he sleep? Five. five hours of sleep. Awesome stretch. It'd be awesome if Shere can literally just get another five hours and wake up at eight in the morning. That would be like a first. Usually at this point, he'll start waking up every two hours. So he'll probably wake up around like five something and then again at seven something. But we'll see what happens. Pooja still has, her fever went back up, 103.5. Even though it doesn't look like 103, but she has 103.5. It's time to put this little guy to sleep. You're gonna sleep till seven o'clock? Eight o'clock? You're gonna sleep till eight o'clock? Okay. Sounds good to Papa. Just as expected, he woke up two hours later. How are you feeling? I mean, I took a Motrin again, so I woke up sweating out the fever again. Oh, really? Like, I had to change my shorts because it was all wet of sweat. <laughs> but, so I feel a little bit better, but I don't I think it's just a Motrin. All right, buddy. Time to swaddle you up, huh? He's just smiling. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know what's going on. What's going on over there? <laughs> What are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> he like growled at you. Time for nap number three. And this one's going to the morning. I'll see you guys when the sun comes up. Definitely forgot to film in the morning, but Cher went on to sleep for another two hours. No surprise. And luckily, Pooja's fever went away by the next afternoon. And turns out, she had a small case of mastitis. Thank God she's doing much better, and I survived being a single dad for 24 hours. But honestly, the biggest shout out to all the single parents out there who are being superheroes for their children every single day. It is not easy and you guys are the real MVPs. Thank you so much for watching this video. It would truly mean the world to us if you gave it a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below. We love reading them, we love hearting them. It just puts a huge smile on our face. So thank you guys so much always for the support, the love and just for spending your time with us. So until next time, Reza, Pooja, and our little Lion King, Sher Khan, are signing off.